if you look around at the participation this year of the Gales in particular, there are a lot of women here and it is so good to see. Um, I think women are, you know, hopefully by the example that's set for them, you know, those of us who are, who are going out and, and in the leadership and in the coaching roles, to show them that you can have fun with it, that it doesn't have to be this, you know, grrr, testosterone sort of driven thing, that, that women can, you know, keep up and that we can play in those, in those conditions and in those territories just as much as the men can. And once you realize that, it's very liberating and you can just have fun with it. So I think we're seeing that sort of percolate down a bit, which is really nice. All right, we're ready. I think we're ready. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So this is the 14th year of the Autumn Gales. You guys keep coming, we're going to keep doing it, so right. that's the plan. Even though it's a, it can be a male-dominated field, it's, it's very welcoming and open to women. There's a lot of women that are starting to get into it, and you think, oh, you have to be so strong and stuff like that, and you really don't. It's a lot about learning good technique. That makes a huge difference. It's just so important to get, lay that foundation to then go in, into bigger and bigger and bigger conditions. Spent one day in the miserable cold pouring rain in November doing rocks and I was hooked. There was just something about it and, I, and um, my husband got me the boat <laughs> for Christmas that I had paddled in because there was something about that Romney. Uh, and then it took off from there, just uh, came down to Stonington to paddle and take classes, met some people in, in the area uh, where I live who do this kind of kayaking um, and I just became an addict and now I just, I just love it. I think both genders can react with this kind of paralyzing fear. I think that's the same for everybody. And you definitely want to find where that limit is for you. And as you practice more and more, that point gets a little further away each time. But I think at that point, it's the same for everybody. I don't think there's a difference, men and women. Um, and a lot of people, you do, you do see it, they kind of give you the up and down, you're taking us out on the water. Um, but yeah, by the end of the day, within the first hour or two, 
yeah, it's fine. It's all been equalised and you are who you are. I've never tried to pretend to be anything I'm not. And uh, yeah, everybody works with you in the end and they're happy. I've never tried to pretend to be 6'2". <laughs> but I'm, one day I will get to be 6'2", I am sure. <laughs> But I'm not going to apologise for being female, I'm not going to apologise for being small. I am what I am, but I haven't yet met, I haven't met any resentment or any, anything that would make me feel negative or inferior as to who I am or what I am, never. <laughs>